Let us imagine that you are creating a database to hold the exams you gave in a class as well as the grades of all students. You will need a table students that will contain all students with attributes such as ID student, name, surname and email. Then you need a table tests to hold all tests. It is not a good idea to include the actual questions in the table containing the actual tests. Instead, we will just store ID test, title, and date. Taking advantage of ID test, we will have a table, question and test, with the questions used in each test. This could make us think of something interesting. What if a teacher likes to reuse some questions in different tests? Is it a good idea to hold the same full string with the question as two separate entries? Well, I recommend that you always avoid redundancies and storing two full questions with exactly the same data, except the ID of the test seems redundant. Therefore, we will use a separate table, questions, that will contain ID question, question, and answer. The ID of the questions will be used in the table, question, and test, along with an ID test, referring to the test it was asked in. Number, to know in which order it was asked for the test. Value indicating the number of points it is worth for that test and ID question per test which will be a primary key automatically incremented used to refer to specific question of a specific test finally we need to hold the grades of each student which might as well be a grade per question we will have a table grade per question with ID grade per question as a primary key and ID student the student that took the test ID question per test reference to a question of a test from the question and test table and grade technically we could create an additional table with the grades for a full test per student but since it's possible to calculate it from data held in other tables, it is not necessary. Now, we need to determine the relationships between the tables. First, we have the table students that holds a piece of information. ID student required in the table grade per question. Each student can have many graded questions but each entity in grade pair question can refer to only a single student. Therefore, the relationship from students to grade pair question is one to many. The table test holds ID test needed in a question and test. Each test can have multiple questions, but an entity in a question and test can refer to only a single test. Therefore, the relationship from test to question and test is one to many. The table questions contains ID question used in a question and test. Each question can be used in many tests, but each entity inside question and test can refer to only a single question. So, the relationship from questions to question and test is also one to many. The table question and test contains ID question per test used in grade per question. A question in a test can have a grade for many students, but an entity inside a grade per question can refer to only a specific question in a specific test. Therefore, the relationship from question and test to great pair question is again one to many. 
Before going ahead to convert this data structure into code, let's set up the development environment in the next tutorial.